Helena Christensen, and we are um, backstage at uh, at a photo shoot that we're doing for Allure magazine. It is their 15th anniversary, and they got together a lot of really cool girls for the shoot, and me. I'm Shalom Harlow. That's maybe a little bit romantic. The inspiration was, was just to make a really beautiful photograph to celebrate all the women who've worked for Allure over the last 15 years. We just wanted them back again because they were so much a part of the history and our anniversary shoot was going to be about the history of Allure and we just thought wouldn't it be great to photograph them in fashion but not so overtly fashion so you still feel their character. You know, Allure has always celebrated beautiful women and I think the birth of that magazine coincided you know, with the height of supermodel dumb, if you will. So, kind of grew up together in a sense, I guess. Yeah. They're, they're definitely icons. I mean, they're, yeah, they're, they, uh, they've all played a very important and a very large part of uh, creating the fashion industry. It's, it's all about them. Couldn't have done it without them. I think that the word supermodel is used very loosely. That word was really used for the 90s when there was there were a group of models that really became more more than just models. They were celebrities. They had names that were attached to their faces. And I think that's what made that group of models different, that they were they were alive, they were human, they weren't just these perfect little cut-out figures. Maybe some people are wondering what happened to Isabella Rossellini or uh, what does she look like? <laughs> 15 years later, and I think it was to satisfy that curiosity uh, to call all of us who were on the cover of Allure or were consistently where Allure 10, 15 years ago when it was at the beginning, and we photograph us now when our career maybe is not as active or has changed or has evolved into other things. The allure really came to life when the supermodels were at their peak. And the key thing for us for the success of the magazine was we've got to get those big girls in this magazine. These models are celebrities, but I think that that's because they came to fame at a time when we needed them. We needed them to be larger than life. And they very assumed that role really, really well. You know, to me, Allure is a, is a magazine that's full of life. And Linda with and her Linda, sneakers, um, still the chicest model in the world wearing sneakers. And it was nice to participate in it and work with Paul Cavaco, who I've worked with my whole entire career, and um, to be part of it. You know, Linda Wells, I worked with Allure right from, you know, the first few months that it was launched, so it was nice to be a part of it. I know they're really happy to have you there, too. It's turned into such a great, informative magazine.